Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have some new projects to share with you and I will show you the papers I used for this uh, first. So I uh, used an airy tale from Graphic 45 and uh, I also had to use, uh, finally I got this new paper here to Norway it takes so long time so <laughs> then I had to create some with uh, this also and this is time to celebrate and um, also used uh, that was the night before Christmas so <laughs> it's a lot of uh, um, small projects here so I will go uh, fast uh, through them so the video won't be too long so and uh, I also have made a tutorial uh, for uh, the different uh, things here so I can maybe show you here is a um, treat box and uh, this I filmed when I made it, so this will be a tutorial on. And here you can put some uh, goodies inside, or you can uh, take a tea light inside. I can show you another one later who has an opening in the front here, so uh, it can be hanged on a Christmas tree or used as a gift. I will use this for children who is uh, ringing the doorbell and uh, singing and uh, say trick or treat, so they will get some goodies inside here. So this uh, was the one I made and uh, the idea for this was when I made uh, the uh, retail media album I uh, used uh, these uh, shapes here, so that was from the paper line and I thought it would be great to use uh, as a shape for a treat uh, box and uh, also used uh, this uh, dice from Marianne Design um, Yeah, so... Um, this I used on all my projects. I did uh, challenge myself to see a bit uh, how much I could uh, uh, make out of uh, this die and also when I uh, made uh, this uh, bow with the die I, um, I thought it looked like a pumpkin. So I will show you that later. And the spider web behind here is from um, memory box. So then I will show you them real fast here. So here is another one. So and um, use some pop dots here to, yeah. And uh, this one, and all the ribbons I used uh, on this project, uh, where I didn't use the bow or die, I uh, is from uh, my art ribbon. They have beautiful ribbons, so I'll put the link to them below. And uh, here is another one, and here I just used a half of the spiderweb tie and a scarecrow that I painted black, first fussy cut and painted black, and then this on the back here. So, And here you can now uh, put goodies right inside, or you can uh, uh, put it in a cellophane, cellophane a bag. And these are also great to use for teachers' uh, gifts and so. And uh, here is another one. So <laughs> this was so fast and uh, fun to make and I had a lot of uh, leftover fussy cuts uh, from uh, my uh, uh, project so I used them here. So here I used them on a wire and this is a wire is from uh, Prima. So and it's fastened with a brad here so I just covered up with a repositional glue here so it can be taken off. On, no this I glued on the top so I can I flip it up but on the others here I just have some repositional glue on. So and this one here. So we can be this is really simple uh, just a bow and a branch here and I put this under here so you can make them easy and you can use a shipboard if you don't like fussy cutting the shipboard or uh, cardstock cutouts. So this uh, was Halloween once and uh, then I made uh, this with um, time uh, to celebrate. So uh, really beautiful papers. So this I made a bit uh, larger and I will also give you the template for that in uh, the tutorial. So um, yeah, I'll place the tag behind here. So, so cute paper. And I also went over here with some uh, white paint and some uh, shark, shark uh, over here. So yeah. And uh, here is the one that is open, so um, just to cut out with a spellbinder's tie here, and uh, here you can put a light inside if you like to. 
or just some goodies for a friend or a little gift. And uh, then I have a two, uh, or I have one more. This one here. I also have a little tag here so I can write the personal message to the receiver. And all these uh, sayings here, time to celebrate and so uh, are so fun. So they are great for Mother's Day also, or a gift for Mother. So then it was the night before Christmas. And it's uh, this one, and also my art ribbon that I just tied around here, and a little tag. And this can be hung, so we can hang this on a Christmas tree if you like to. So, we'll put some goodies inside here. And uh, you can also make, uh, if you like, the 25 of them and place number on them and uh, then put some goodies in for each uh, day for your child and hang it on uh, a banner or something. So, uh, yeah, and uh, here's the last one of these, and here I placed some Christmas trees inside. I'm not sure it shows up for the glare here. I have some acetate behind here. So, or you can put a tea light inside here and also hang up on a Christmas tree, like so. So, we'll be hanging. So, uh, that was <laughs> the treat boxes. And um, then for the pumpkins. So here I used uh, the same uh, die and uh, just made some uh, pumpkins and it's uh, great for decoration on the uh, on Halloween uh, table. So and uh, this is a Sisyx uh, die and this uh, leaf die is uh, from um, uh, Elizabeth Crafts uh, design and this one is the one we are making in the tutorial and here I first got some leaves out of the paper line and these I used from the 6x6 papers and then I made another one with a light inside and this is uh, made uh, almost the same way but uh, more layers of uh, this dye here so this I also we show in uh, not this video but the next one with the ornaments how to make uh, this one so there I show how to make the ornaments so it's also great to have on a table lightening up and this you also can fill with uh, goodies inside and uh, give us small uh, Halloween gifts so that was <laughs> the pumpkins and uh, then for the ornaments uh, I started uh, out uh, with uh, this one and here I used uh, regular card cardstock and it's a bit too heavy the light inside here maybe give you a close up here uh, so if you're using regular cardstock you maybe uh, uh, take some multi mat on to stiffen it up a bit so it will hold better but it, it works so and some uh, petaloo flowers here and uh, I would have taken some red um, uh, they called some round <laughs> uh, bubbles on top here but I didn't have it so I will find something to put on top here because I think it's something missing and also a little bell on here so this can be hanged on a Christmas tree or in a window and I uh, can maybe show you the one uh, we, uh, I filmed when I made it so it's uh, this one so this is also can be hanged in a window or on a Christmas tree, like so, and like so on the back side. So here I use some leftovers from some laces and so. So and Elizabeth, no, and uh, Mariana design uh, branch uh, here that I also cut out. So. Hope it shows up. I <laughs> should have maybe filmed it the other way so you can see it hanging. So, yeah. So they are really easy and uh, fast to make uh, these also. So, can I maybe show you one without light inside? So you can just use it as an ornament and hang it up. So, hold it like so. <laughs> it's a tassel on the bottom here. like so on the back and uh, one more with a 
light inside. So this way I will use for a friend, gifts to friends. So, so this uh, was uh, my project and as I, there are uh, three video tutorials. So this one is uh, the same build up as this one. So as soon as I've uh, uploaded all uh, the tutorials, I will link below this video. Just uh, click show more uh, under the video and there uh, you will find all the links. So I uh, hope maybe you uh, can get some ideas and uh, also if you have any questions, please look below the video. There you will find some information how I answer them. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye-bye.